Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back. Um, I hope you're all well. Now what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be carrying on from where we left off in the last video. Remember we looked at we looked at this, the re, IR remote control and the IR remote receiver. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some components. We're going to add some components um, that we can control with the IR devices. So let's go over to here. What you are going to need, you are going to need a LED, whatever color you like, an LED, and you're going to need passive, sorry, an active buzzer. Okay, remember how we uh, know the active buzzer? Normally they got a sticker on, but they got the seal back. All right, they got the seal back. And they got one leg longer than the other all right so we want that one leg longer than the other to the right hand side and then we need two 1k resistors okay extra and we need a transistor we need the s8050 so if you can see that okay it's a bit hard to see um make sure it is the 8050 because in the kits that you buy if you haven't bought your kits modules they're down below i've got some links down below you got the 8550 it's not that one you want the s8050 okay so what we do we'll uh start putting this together shall we start putting this together right now the receiver is exactly the same. The IR receiver is exactly the same. All right, here's the drawing. Here's the uh, specs. Not the specs. What's, what's the word? Schematic, the schematic. I'm getting old, I'm getting old. First thing we'll do, we'll put in the uh, active buzzer, okay? So make sure the long leg is to the left to the left all right just so i can see and then we want a one cable from the left leg okay and that goes to a 3.3 volts okay so take that to our 3.3 volts all right okay then we want a cable from the right leg of the active buzzer and put that somewhere where because we've got to put in the transistor all right so we get our transistor we've got our three legs now what we want if you look at the transistor there's a round side that is the back and the flat side facing us all right and the flat side facing us and that blue cable it's got to go to the right hand leg the right hand leg like that okay let me just got it a little bit spread out so like that like that and put that in there so it goes to the right leg the middle leg get one of one of our 1k resistors Okay, it goes from the middle leg and goes over the trench. Okay, it goes over the trench. Then we have a black cable goes from the left leg of the transistor, the 8050. All right, that goes in our left leg and that goes to ground. Okay, that goes to ground, which is my red round all right then from that resistor we go from the resistor and we go to pin 13 okay pin 13 on the esp32 so far so good all right then we need our LED 
Okay, so we put our LED in. Put the long leg to the right hand side. Okay, we then want a black cable. Okay, a black cable. And that goes from the left leg to the ground. Okay. Then we want a resistor. Another 1K resistor. Goes from the right leg of the LED and it goes across the trench. So we've got that column there. So that goes from that column, a cable, a jumper cable goes from that column and it goes to a GPIO 14. Okay, and that's two jumps up. Go to GPIO 14. All right, and that is the, the circuit complete. Okay, that is the circuit complete. Right, now let's go over to this view. Let's go to Arduino. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with our sketch from last time, uh, the IR control. Okay, and we're going to be modifying that. All right, so we need to keep the first four includes okay our libraries and the next three lines of code okay we need to keep right we now need to add some more variables and it's our uh, led pin all right we put that on 14 semicolon okay and it's int buzzer pin and equals and that was on 13 semicolon okay enter All right let's come down to our void setup okay our void setup and we need to initialize initialize the ledc configuration we can get rid of all this all right led a uh, void setup in between the curly brackets things we want to happen only once so ledc pin sorry setup capital s on the setup brackets on and it's zero comma one thousand comma eight come outside the brackets semicolon so that's set the channel the frequency and the resolution all right enter next we need our ledc attach capital a on the attach pin capital p on the pin brackets on okay led pin and that's comma zero come outside the bracket semicolon enter now we need to do our pin mode don't forget the capital m on the mode brackets on and it's buzzer pin all right buzzer pin comma and we want that as an output so it's all capitals Come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Now we need our IR receive enabled. So it's IRR, right? ECV, right? Our infrared receive that stands for. Um, it is definitely a full stop enable r i r capital small n all right brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets semicolon okay and that's our void setup four lines of code now we're going to our void loop all right certain things we need to keep we need to keep the first and the last line the other two 
the serial prints, etc., we can get rid of. All right. So what we need is one line of code here in its handle. Control, capital C on the control. All right. Brackets on. And it's results. That's with the oh, what's going on here? Brackets on, handle control, and it's results. An S on the back bottom of results. Full stop value. Come outside the brackets, semicolon. We need to do the infrared receive dot resume. We need to keep that. We need to now take out this delay. Okay. And that's the void loop. Come to here, enter, enter. Now we need to do a new void. All right. And this is called a void. Handle control. Capital C on the control. Brackets on. All right, and it's unsigned. Space long. Space value. All right. And that's what we call it. I'm outside the brackets. No semicolons, space, curly brackets, enter. All right. Now, digital right. Okay, digital right, brackets on. And it's a buzzer, pin, capital P on the pin, comma, space, high, all capitals. Come outside the brackets semicolon enter then we want to delay brackets on 100 milliseconds come outside the brackets semicolon enter another digital right will be spared if i could spell digital right brackets on buzzer pin Okay, comma, low, all capitals. Come outside the bracket, semicolon. So what we're doing there, we, when we press uh, the values, 0, 1, 2, 3, the buzzer pin will make a little beep for 100 milliseconds. All right, so that's what we're doing there. Okay, now we want to do um, our response or respond to the command. And we have a, a command in here called switch. Okay, space, brackets on, value. Come outside the brackets. No semicolon. Enter. Curly brackets, enter. Now, if you can remember um, the numbers, just go back to the numbers. Um, we're going to be using 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to be using these key values here. All right. That's the key values we're going to be using. All right. So it's enter. So it's case. Space. Zero X F F. All right. And it's six, eight, nine, seven. That's zero. Okay. That's the zero. And then we want a colon. Enter LED and it's right. All right, LED right brackets on zero, comma, space zero. Come outside the brackets, semicolon. All right, zero, turn off the LED. Okay, turn off the LED and we're going to go enter and we want to break. All right, a break and it's a semicolon. All right, so that's the three lines of code we want for the switch value. All right, so what we do, Control C to copy. 
all right and enter enter control v all right now for the number one it's three zero c f three zero capital c f all right we want it quite dim so we'll make it seven all right that break they should be semicolons not colons all right so let me control c that right now we want mid-range control v and for the number two is one eight e seven all right so we change that one eight capital e seven and we want it mid-range so we go about 63 64 we'll put in 63 enter enter control v and we want uh for the number three it is seven a eight five it's seven capital a eight five all right and we want it as bright as we can get it so that's going to be two five five okay there we go and there we go so curly brackets off curly brackets off colon semicolon 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 let's just go through semicolon yeah for me semicolons just check in right just check in okay let's upload this let's upload it fingers crossed it loads quickly and we have no issues okay we have no issues yes we do have a switch okay typo okay let's try again it was a typo switch value should have known that led right it's led c okay we have to do all these led c right okay yeah led c right hopefully this time then hopefully this time we're compiling we're compiling okay and there we go we're uploading we are uploading there we go we're uploading let's switch to overhead while we're uploading okay switch in to overhead okay and we're uploaded so here's me ir let's press number one press number two and press number three okay let me reset this Just quickly could be an issue one two three three let me just check we got the code right LDC right zero comma zero LDC right zero seven sixty three two five five okay two five five all right that's why the last one wasn't doing very well okay quickly upload it again quickly upload it again shouldn't take too long shouldn't take too long it's already been compiled let's go back to overhead let's 
go back to overhead we're uploading we're uploading and we're uploaded okay one two three and zero okay you probably can't see it very well on the video on the yeah but you can see it changing and zero okay and there you go you've learned how to how to uh use the ir controller to work a light and set up a buzzer um we are going to be moving on with moving components with components etc etc so we will be moving on things are going to get a bit more complicated and the sketches are going to get a bit longer all right but anyway hope you enjoyed this video okay and uh please give us a thumbs up subscribe and comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye bye